Okay then, so what I'm trying to do today is kill about 10 birds with one stone. I've got a new GoPro 7 and it's got this hyper smooth and apparently when it records, I'm totally smart. I don't need a gimbal, I don't need a tripod, I don't need a bipod. Apparently you just hold it in your hand and everything's gonna be perfect. We, we don't know, right? But we're gonna give it a go, if not then we'll send it back. Uh, okay, also Christopher Plea is famous. He's the owner and he, he basically does Nose Dragon Armory and it's basically designs. Uh, he makes all the Viking outfits for women, children, adults. Uh, his stuff gets used in TV shows, films. Look in, it's like proper, not like your dodgy stuff, like this is like full on fucking leather that you know he spends hours fucking making and creating and designing and all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna try not to swear in this one because every time I swear. It always gets kicked off YouTube, so if it gets kicked off, it gets lowered down. So, it's, I'm going to try and make like an adult. No, I'm going to try and make a child-friendly version. But the main thing is, we need some time lapses today of either whatever, either behind the scenes or the thing to see whether this works. Plus, when I'm walking to and from scenes and we're talking, we need to see whether it's you know, does it look like it's on a gimbal? Or is my hand going all over the place? I'm like, rrr, 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 rrr. I ain't even sure that might have even been stable, but we'll give it a go. Anyway, I'll let you go. So far, I've done a battery test on the GoPro 7. Uh, it's GoPro 7 Black. Uh, yesterday, I had it on for an hour and a half, and you know, I ended up having to turn it off to put it on charge to go to bed, and that had done over, oh God. God, I still had 29% battery left on that after an hour, after an hour and 20, hour and 26, hour and 26 minutes exact it was, and I still had 29% battery left. There's a lot of reports saying the battery only lasts half an hour, and I ain't sure where that's coming from. That that weren't my experience yesterday. That 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 was shooting in 1080 at 60 frames per second, and today we're going to be shooting in trying a new setting actually today I'm trying 2.7k so you might even see some roughness in the face uh, 60 frames per second and instead of doing it in the big wide angle crazy looking GoPro mode they've introduced a new linear mode so I've got the linear mode so it's more your vlog style so more your Canon G7X kind of style but if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't and we send it back but anyway, I'll let you go and I'll crack on with this journey then. So we've just arrived on site. Remember, this is all without a gimbal, so we're all doing it all handheld. Uh, this here. There's two photographers. I think they're just, just having a little play before we're having a start, I think. <laughs> Here's one of our male Viking models. Hey. Just want to tell your name on Instagram, pal. Uh, Robin Dawn. So that's rubbing door, and you'll find him on there. I'll put tags to everyone underneath, and we'll race around again. Okay, so this is one of our other mail. Richard Carr. Ah! <laughs> and sorry, it, it, it's your daughter, isn't it, Richard? Yeah, Harriet. There we go, and little Harriet too. This is our bird handler. Our pup birds of prey, I should say. How you doing, mate? There we go. Just want to say your name if anyone wants to contact you or Instagram or anything. Yeah, like it's that. Andrew Campbell and it's the Owl Experience Rescue Sanctuary in Horton and my number is 07980 977 17.
There we go, and I'll put links to everyone underneath as well. Oh. And here we are, we've got a couple more. This is one of our organisers. Please. Oh, I thought that was on. Hello. I'll put links up to everyone's accounts after so you can see everyone. That's really great. There we go. We've got a great day. And here's another female Hello. model. This is Willow. Say your name on um, Willow. Willow and Elm Faye on Instagram. I'll put everyone's links, remember. And we have three more ladies here. Hi. Lexi, you can find me on Lexi Hands uh, on Instagram and in Twitter and Facebook. There you go. And two more ladies here, just finish off getting ready. Hi. Are you on Instagram, love? Uh, yeah, uh, Harriet Williams 91. Nothing special. Um, yes, but the makeup one as well. Because Harriet's not really a model, she's a makeup artist. Oh, but she's well, a brilliant there, model as well. She's multi talented. I'll, I'll add it. I'll she's add fantastic. It. Does it and yourself, love? Um, I'm underscore Michelle XX Taylor underscore. There we go. And we'll fly around. I think there's one. One more somewhere, or oh, actually. <laughs>
so shoots over I'm almost home uh, amazing day I mean crazy successful day again met some awesome people there uh, loads of photographers using all different types of kit so you know you get to see all different types of kit get to have a little go uh, models were amazing absolutely crazy so do check them out and I'll post the links underneath uh, Christopher and Alan I mean they outdone themselves today I think everyone's got to agree with that uh, originally this was just gonna be a GoPro just like you know a uh, would it cope with it? Would it do the vlog? Would it do the stabilization? And I'm not too sure whether it is or not. You know, we'll find out at the end of the day. But the actual shoot itself, mental, really good. So, uh, photography societies or photography clubs, or even if you're just a photographer that wants to do it alone, you know, you can contact either of them. Uh, you can either arrange your own models or you can use their models or, you know, vice versa. But that, that's sort of that kind of stuff out for you if you need to. Uh, areas they cover pretty much everywhere you know from down south to Scotland obviously just different obviously you know depending on the seasons and all that kind of stuff so that's stuff you'll have to sort out individually with them um, but other than that fantastic I mean like really buzzing honestly can't wait to look at the images I'm deciding I don't want to go over the top with the edits because I want to try the idea of this GoPro is that unlike a DSLR where you have to cut a grey do all this kind of stuff mumbo jumbo and it takes two three weeks to get a you know to get a video out I pretty much want to do this as fast as possible so I'm gonna just do a Lightroom edit not gonna do anything fancy with any of the images just gonna be a basic Lightroom edit uh, afterwards I'll probably pick individual images and I'll do my own little you know add, add my own little bit of style to it or whatever and then I'll use them separately uh, but all the images you've seen have only been edited in Lightroom uh, they've been shot on a Nikon D750 and we've used a Tamron 90mm lens uh, mainly at f5.6 100 ISO and between the shutter ranges of 125 and 600 for the darker sky images that you see uh, the lighting we've used was a pixar pro ad 200 which is but it's basically the godox ad 200 but it's relabeled through pixar pro which means you get the two-year guarantee so you know it's peace of mind i've already had one fail on me and if that had been a godox ad 200 that would have been two three hundred quid down the drain but because it was with pixar pro they just exchanged it literally took three days uh so that was amazing uh also what hours did we use today we used a pixar pro octabox uh, that's an amazing kit because it's collapsible so you can literally put that anywhere in your backpack all that kind of stuff so i recommend that to photographers uh, anyway so that's us now all over and done with I'd like to say thank you to anyone that's watched it I'd like to say thank you to chris and alan also uh, my team of four was jan wazzle mark pigger and andy homer so thank you to them three for being awesome uh, and that's us people we're now pulling up and we're about to get our dinner on and get our freak on. I'll see you all in a bit. Thank you.